Hi. I'm live. I don't think there's anybody here yet, but I'm on my Sunday YouTube video telling uh, what I sold for the past week on eBay and Poshmark. I come on every uh, Sunday for sure, and usually one day during the week with uh, some sort of video. Uh, that varies, but Sunday is always at 4 o'clock, and it's always from what I sold the past week. I sell on eBay. I've been selling on eBay for a long time, and I sell on Poshmark now for seriously more for the past year. So it's finally catching up a little bit, and uh, yeah. Hi, Diane. Hi, Stella. Yeah, we had a horrible storm go through here yesterday. I don't know if anybody's in the area where they got the storm or not. It was a front that went through here with winds up to 70 miles an hour. Uh, it knocked out my power. I didn't have any power at all uh, from... Hi, Randy. I didn't have any power from noon till 7 o'clock at night. Yeah, it was starting to get a little chilly in the house. I had my fireplace all revved up, all the wood in there. I brought wood in. I had it all ready to go if it got uh, after dark, if it got too cold. I mean, I wasn't going to freeze to death. It had been in the 60s that day, yesterday. But then when the front went through, it dropped the temperature to in the 40s. So I was prepared. And, uh, however, uh, before it even got dark, the lights went back on. So thank goodness. It's amazing what, that, how we depend on electricity, especially this house, because this house is totally electric. My furnace is a boiler, but it's run by electricity. My well pump is run by electricity so i lose everything if i lose power it's i lose everything i can't flush the toilets or anything so yeah i had to keep buckets of water always in the bathtub down here uh just in case especially during the spring when we get spring storms like this However, today it's really nice out, but the temperature is a little, it's only in the 50s, I think. But in a few days, we're supposed to hit 70 degrees. Of course, it's supposed to rain, <laughs> or I don't know if it's supposed to storm or not, but yeah. But spring is here. We always have these this up and down uh, weather and temperatures in the spring. So, and it's the rainy season, lots of rain, April rain brings, April showers brings May flowers. I bought uh, 10 more empty jugs, water jugs, to plant seeds in. I have 10 more ready to go. That's one thing I did yesterday when the power was out. I was trying to think of what I could do. I did read part of a book a little bit. That's something I never do when the power's on. And I cut my jugs, how you have to cut them in half so they open up. I did that. I put the, the seeds that are supposed to go in, the packets of seeds in each one that I'm going to plant. Now I just have to take them out to the garage and put the dirt in and plant the seeds, water them, and put them on the deck with the rest of them. So yeah, that I think is the is the extent I'm going to have. That's because I have 23 already. That'll be 33 or 34. I think I have an extra bottle out there too. Uh, that's enough for the first year till I see if this is even going to work. I do have some things sprouting now, so that's uh, that's good. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, I sold 10 
it was a slow week again. Only 10 items on eBay and only 7 items on Poshmark. So this won't take too long to show you. So let me uh, share my screen. And I will show you what I sold. <clears throat> I did sell a few shoes this week. This is the first one. This I've had these a while. These are Liz Claiborne uh, little wedge sandals. Uh, I don't know if you can't really see on this one, but uh, they're size eight medium, black patent leather, uh, strappy sandals. They sold for $9. I took a $9 best offer because I've had them for quite a while. So I decided at the beginning of the week I was going to take every offer I got. But when it came right down to it, I got some really low ball offers that I just refused to take. So I didn't really do that. Next thing is another pair of shoes by Morona. These were just like brand new. These are really cute little flats. Uh, size 8. Uh, Morona sold in Target, I believe. They sold for $11.22 sale price. I had a 20, 25% off sale, I think, all week on these. Uh, yeah. So uh, they paid shipping, of course, on them. <laughs> Next thing is a Nanette Lepore silk butterfly dress. Uh, it's I named it that because it butterflies all over it. It had sort of flouncy sleeves, and it had like a crossover front and a roughly a hem. This is a pretty dress. Um size six short and this sold for $28.87 with the sale going on and they paid uh, shipping on that. Oh, I forgot to tell you where things are going. This went to Hobie Sound, Florida. The Marona Flats went to Lansing, Michigan and the little Liz Claiborne went to Bourne, Texas. There, all caught up. Uh, next thing is this little beanie baby by Ty. This is a little basset hound named Tracker. I love the names that they give these little animals. This little, just a little guy with big sad eyes. And Tracker went to live in Arlington Heights, Illinois. And he sold for six nine six sixty five. Now this did not have shipping, so I barely made much on him at all. But I have a lot of uh, plush in there that aren't selling, so there you go. The little basset hound went to Illinois. <clears throat> this was a pretty blouse by Talbot's, a button-up fitted shirt in a size ten. It had a, a red and white pattern on it, and the sleeves had cuffs, uh, sort of like almost three-quarter sleeves with the cuff. This sold for $25.29, went to Sacramento, California. <clears throat> Another pair of shoes. These are those grasshoppers. <laughs> like I said, I think last week my mother wore a lot of this kind this brand of shoe grasshoppers these were like brand new they didn't have any wear at all on them they were like new without the box and uh, they were a size size you eight medium had a cork sort of a wedge and memory foam in them and sold for $15.97 Usually I get shoes for four or five dollars in my Goodwills. A pair of socks go with the shoes. <laughs> These are by Sock Daddy. I 
don't know where I got these. I might have picked them up at Goodwill because they had dogs on them, or I could have got them in a box a while ago. Uh, just a pair of cotton blend socks uh, with little golden doodles on them. Uh, a one size size. And those sold for $8, best offer that I took. They went to Key Biscayne, Florida. This is a, uh, by Woven Heart. It's a kimono wrap. Women's one size. It just slips over the... Uh, I'm not sure if it slips over or if it's just open. No, oh, open front. It looks looked like a big scarf when I got it. And then I figured it out. That it was a little uh, kimono, almost like a tunic. Not a tunic, but a... What do you call those? I didn't write it down, so I don't remember. It's a floral, uh, very airy, sold for $12 best offer. Went to Galloway, New Jersey. I might have gotten that one from Bumblebee. I'm not sure. Uh, Michael Stars. This is a ribbed sweater, uh, very fitted. I... Uh, Wide V-neck, uh, one size. It's uh, made in the USA, Michael Stars is. And this sold for $12, best offer, which I took. And, nope, that's wrong slip. Uh, went to St. Louis, Missouri. Sold for $15, plus shipping. <clears throat> The last eBay item I sold was by uh, Mandy Evans. It's a sleeveless top. It's a women's uh, extra large. It was sort of a white, very pale, whitish blue top. Barely blue. It's, it looks more blue on here than it really was. But uh, that's because it's up against the white background I put on there. Uh, yeah, I had pleating on the neckline here. Looked like it had a spot there, too. wonder, I hope I mentioned that. Uh, went to Gal, Ganallon, Gal, Gal, Glen Allen? No. Yeah, Glen Allen, Arkansas. <laughs> I don't know why I had such trouble with that. In fact, I can't see very well. Uh, sold for $10 best offer, plus shipping. Okay, now on to Poshmark. Uh, the guy that bought this shirt, he went back and forth, back and forth with me, and finally got it for $16. Uh, I made $12.80. Went to Shelton, Washington, way out in Washington. It was like brand new, this uh, sweater. Uh, sort of a chunky knit. <clears throat> Another pair of shoes. These are, I've had these for a long time. These are Franco Sarto. They have a block heel. Uh, big block heel, just slide-ons. You can tell by the background in this stair stepper thing that these were I've had these forever. So I sold them on Poshmark though for $15. And I think I lowered the price a couple of times on these. Uh, they were size nine and a half. I got $12. <clears throat> Next thing on Poshmark, Kelvin Klein stretch yoga pants. Uh, these are sort of pretty, these, uh, this design. But I let them go for $10. I've had them a while, went to Corpus Christi, Texas, and I only got $7.05 for those. Lauren, Ralph Lauren pants. These are women's size eight. They were pleated in the front and had a straight leg and they sold for $17, and they went to Fullerton, California. 
Next thing is a pair of Levi's 505 men's jeans in a size 40, straight leg. Um, yeah, went to Longview, Texas, another Texas sale. They sold for $25, and I got $20 from that. This is a cute little jacket in really uh, excellent shape. I have new without tags because it, it looked like it's never been worn. It's by Swiss Tech. It's a hoodie jacket, quite heavy. Um, had zip pockets and a zip front and a hood. And this sold for $26. And it went to Homeworth, Ohio. Right here in Ohio somewhere. I never heard of that. Uh, yeah. And I received $20.80. And the last item is by Zach and Rachel. It's a pull-on blouse. Had a tassel uh, tie at the neck here. And... Um, sort of pretty pattern. I've had this a while. This was a women's petite and an extra large. Three quarter sleeves and it sold for $16. It went to North Bend, Oregon. Oregon. And I received $12.80 for that. Okay, here's my sad little graft. Look at it went. <laughs> it was a, not a good week, as you can tell there on eBay. Uh, yeah, kind of sad. I'll show you my numbers, but I don't even want You can just look at them here. I don't even want to read them. Total sales here, net sales here. And average sale price, $22.24. Now I'll get off here and I'll tell you the Poshmark items. So the average sale price on eBay was higher than Poshmark, as you'll see. <clears throat> okay. The seven items I sold on Poshmark was a gross sales of $125, net sales of $99.05. Average selling price on Poshmark was only $17.86. So I did have a couple low prices there that pulled that down. So, yeah. I did, since it was just starting to be the 1st of April, I printed out on eBay uh, is this eBay or Poshmark? Why does it say Poshmark? Oh, performance. It doesn't say Poshmark. <laughs> See, I can't read. Okay. This is for the whole month. Total on eBay, $1,212 in some sense. Net sales, $649, okay? On Poshmark, I didn't put the gross, but on Poshmark, I netted, I, no, I, on Poshmark, I netted $511. So between the two of them, both platforms for the month of March, I made $1,160 net, which does pay my horse's board plus some. My horse's board is around six hundred dollars. So, so yeah, it did did do what it's supposed to do, but I'd like it to do more than that. Uh, it's about half of what it used to be. I used to be, uh, at least gross two thousand dollars. I mean, net $2,000 on the two. However, I just watched a one on uh, a YouTube video from Flippin' Hippos, and she says the same thing. They're doing about half. Now, I read someplace, I don't know if it was her that said, but they, 
eBay is saying that they have fixed the glitches. I I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, also, somebody mentioned that it seems like eBay turns on your listings and then turns off your listings. And it's the same with me. I feel like that too. Because I'll go certain days, I might have no sales or one sale. And then all of a sudden, I'll have a group of sales all in a row. It's like they turned it on. So it's just strange. Hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> six, six in the chat. Yeah, I, I should stop saying my sad little graph. Well, I, yeah, I probably should stop even showing that because it doesn't really show anything. <clears throat> I just, I don't know. I don't even want to show the numbers at this particular time. But maybe I'll just show the month end each month instead of the numbers for each week because that's sort of depressing. At least for the month, I can see if I'm doing uh, enough to pay my horse's board. Uh, so, it, yeah, it was better than, I, actually, it was better than I thought it was going to be because it seemed to be so slow all, all month. But I did make, you know, over a thousand, so, yeah. I'm just plugging along here. I just measured uh, the last four items that I got on my little teensy haul. So they'll go up tomorrow with some other sell similar items. <clears throat> Yesterday, I couldn't list anything. And by the time the power came back on, I was too, t <laughs> I was too tired from fretting all day. I was too tired to do eBay. So yesterday I didn't list anything. I didn't do anything. I couldn't have uh, couldn't have done it with the power out. Anyway. Time to source some more shorts. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking this week I'll go to the bigger uh, Goodwill uh, this week and see what they have. Because I also like to look uh, some for some things for myself. Uh, I have been listening to get off the subject of of this reselling, well, sort of. I've been listening like nonstop to Dave Ramsey on YouTube. I I listen on my big TV, on my smart TV to YouTube a lot, a lot more than I watch regular TV for sure. So I, I'm either watching a movie or I'm watching YouTube. So I've been watching a lot of uh, Dave Ramsey lately. So at one time I was doing the Dave Ramsey and I got rid of all my uh, credit cards. Or I didn't get rid of them. That was the problem. I paid them all off and I didn't use them for a long time. But I didn't cut them up. So I slowly went back to, you know, using them. So now I have debt on my cards. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that again. So I'm doing their, I'm doing a budget now. And it's surprising how much you actually are spending that you don't realize you're spending until you actually write it down in a book or on paper. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get rid of all my credit cards. I have a lot of debt at the moment, mostly to do with Michelle's horse. But, yeah, she's just, she's getting back on her feet. She's working every day. And still very sad. But it just takes time. So I will go, I'm, I'm thinking that I will go this week, although next Sunday's Easter and I'm having everybody out here for Easter. So I'll probably have to go out and get a couple things anyway. And the Aldi, 
is right next door to the bigger Goodwill. So that, that'll work if I don't wear myself out. Yeah. So that's a plan. Tomorrow I'm going to the barn, pay my board, and see my horse. Take, uh, take Penny, who's, who's over here, of course, sleeping as usual. Uh, I'll take Penny for a ride to see see her brother, the horse, and uh, yeah, hopefully maybe take some pictures or do some little shorts on YouTube. Oh, I got yesterday. This was big. Yes, I've been getting like one egg every few days, or maybe two eggs every few days. Yesterday, I got four eggs, four eggs all at once. It were working hard. Maybe the storm. They had to be, they were in the coop. They thought hmm, we might as well lay an egg. I don't know, but I got four eggs. Today, I made egg salad. I took six of the eggs that I had, six of the uh, ones that I've had, and I made hard-boiled eggs, and made egg salad. I love egg salad. I put Miracle Whip. Here's how I make mine. I'm, I put Miracle Whip, a little bit of mustard, a spoonful of sweet pickle relish, and mix it up and keep adding the Miracle Whip until it's a consistency. I like it. And I like my eggs chopped up really small. I don't like big hunks of egg in it. So for lunch, I had an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to, uh, tomorrow, probably when I get home from the barn, tomorrow I'm going to make some hamburger soup. Have you ever made that? It's made with ground meat and uh all kinds of stuff thrown in there. It's hamburger meat. You brown the meat with some onions. I usually do some celery in there too. And then you drain off all the grease. And then you make a pot with uh, beef broth. Because I'm using, this time I'm using ground beef. Which I usually use uh, ground turkey. But I still use... Um, uh, broth, you know, meat broth. So I'm use a big thing of broth and uh, a can of tomato soup, a can of diced tomatoes, and then a package of frozen vegetables. You can use canned, but it's better with frozen vegetables. And this is all in together. It makes a surprisingly really good soup. You throw in some garlic powder and maybe some a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and I don't have a bay leaf. You're supposed to put a bay leaf in there too but I don't have a bay leaf. I forgot to look for that yesterday when I went to Target. I went to Target yesterday to pick up prescription and I got some dog snacks in there, and I don't know, a couple food items. I don't, not, nothing to amount to much. I had to write it though on my uh, budget. I started a budget, a written budget on April 1st. So. so that's all for this week. Hopefully I will get back with you in the middle of the week with some sort of a haul or something or other. It may be me making the soup. <laughs> I don't know. But I will be back on sometime. And thank you all for joining. Thanks, everybody, even those people that aren't saying anything. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm just trying uh, to get a thousand subscribers sometime in my lifetime. 
I'm, I'm not even to 500 yet, so I have a long ways to go. So please subscribe and hit the little thumbs up button. It helps the algorithm. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.